Live from Detroit's news leader, you're watching WDIV Local 4, where local news comes first. Now, Local First News at 11. They think this is a racetrack every day, and I'm surprised this ain't happened. Twisted metal is all that's left when a local drag race turns deadly. Good evening, I'm Michael Ann Wolf. And I'm Art Edwards. That deadly drag race is your big story at 11. The three-car crash sent a child to the hospital and one of the drag racers to the morgue. Local 4's Darriel Snipes is live in Warren with the latest. Darriel? Well, Michael, and crews are still trying to fix a pole that was damaged during the accident. And witnesses say they saw those two cars drag racing northbound on Chainer. And they also say it was just a matter of time before someone died during one of these high-speed races. They started right around four blocks north of Eight Mile. Mm -hmm. By the time they hit Topher, they were doing about 80. Warren police say drivers in this Honda Civic and Honda Accord were drag racing down Shaner when this Cadillac came into their paths around 5 o'clock this afternoon. The Civic right there was racing the gold Honda, and what happened was this Cadillac pulled out right here. They were doing about 100 miles an hour. That Civic hit that Cadillac, spun them around into the Honda, and the Honda hit the telephone pole. Richard Joy was inside the Cadillac. He says he injured his arm, but saw his family members, including a five-year-old nephew, being tossed around during the crash. The baby bounced through the back seat. The seat belt broke off the baby. I grabbed him. My sister went through the windshield. My mom got trapped in the driver's side. The Cadillac pulled off of Ida Street here, had a family in it. Uh, both cars impacted that Cadillac. Uh, those people are currently uh, split between Bi-County and the Macomb Hospital Center. Uh, I do understand that they are in, uh, there are at least a couple in serious condition. Those in the Civic were also taken to the hospital, but the driver of the Accord, a 19-year-old boy from East Point, was pronounced dead at the scene. Witnesses say a tragedy that didn't have to happen if motorists didn't like to drag race at high speeds down these roads. It's, it's unfortunate somebody had to get killed. That's the bad part. I don't care who was at fault. It's crazy. Many neighbors say they've seen that Red, Civ Red Civic drag race before, and police want to arrest that driver when he's released from the hospital. Reporting live in Warren, Darielle Snipes, Local First. Local First, a local woman is gunned down outside a shopping center tonight. Her boyfriend is behind bars. Witnesses say 32-year-old Teresa Jones was shot as many as five times at an Ypsilanti strip mall. Police say one of her three children may have witnessed the shooting. People who knew her boyfriend are stunned. Uh, he's a real nice person, not a violent, not a, a bad person. He's a real good person. That's why I don't understand this. It's real. Oh, it's real shocking. Police arrested the boyfriend in his car about two miles from the shopping center. Right now, police are investigating a suspicious death at a local floral shop. The shop's owner was found dead inside the store at Seven Mile and East Outer Drive earlier today. The man's family says that they had not seen him since Friday. More on this story as it does become available. A man accused of shooting two Detroit police officers remains on the loose tonight. Police say 32-year-old Lauren Key shot two officers responding to a call that he was holding a hostage. They say he then shot a passenger in a vehicle he was trying to carjack. The injured passenger and a female officer remain in the hospital. And police are still searching for a gunman who shot two University of Michigan football players. Police say the man sprayed a crowd of partygoers with gunfire outside of an Ann Arbor home last night. Marcus Curry was shot in the back. Carl Diggs was shot in the leg. Both have now been released from the hospital. Not even a church is safe when thieves go on a crime spree at a local strip mall. Local 4's Sarah Sell brings us a story you'll only see on 4. Well, it all started here at the beauty salon. After breaking down the back door, the thief crawled through the ceiling and then busted out the firewall and went into the church next door. I'm surprised. I didn't think they would go to fix that. When John Bates came to check on his building, he couldn't believe what he saw. The entire strip mall had been robbed. The thief started in the salon and moved on to the church next door. Bates says that's where the robber took some stereo equipment. From there, he says the person busted another hole in the wall and entered this resale shop. Susan Smith says it's the second time her business has been hit. About $2,000 worth of phones. Um, PlayStation games, Nintendo, small stuff, because the hole in the ceiling isn't very large, so they had to kind of compromise on the smaller stuff to get. The thief got away with about $4,000 worth of merchandise and stereo equipment. That doesn't include the cost of the repairs to the ceilings and the walls. 
Bates says it's all a very sad situation, especially the robbery at the church. The whole thing is wrong. I don't have no idea who did it. I just, I don't understand. I've been here 23 years. I've never had a break into last month. So far, Detroit police don't have any suspects in this robbery, but they are calling in evidence technicians, hoping that they can pull some prints from some of these businesses. Reporting from Detroit, Sarah Sal, local first. A U.S. soldier is killed during combat in Afghanistan. The U.S. Special Forces soldier was attacked along with his unit while on patrol in eastern Afghanistan. It is unclear if there are any casualties among the enemy forces. Small teams of U.S. Special Forces soldiers are operating throughout eastern Afghanistan in an effort to monitor movement by al-Qaeda members. And now other developments in the war on terror. A British newspaper says it has a video of Osama bin Laden. His supporters say that it was made about eight weeks ago. The tape warns that any country siding with Israel is a target for Islamic terrorists. Vice President Dick Cheney has gone on the record saying that a future terrorist attack is almost a certainty. And U.S. military instructors arrived in the former Soviet Republic of Georgia Sunday. They are part of a U.S. plan to train Georgian forces to fight rebels. Stay with Local First News for the very latest in America's war against terror. I'm trying to stay optimistic <laughs> about the weather. I'm trying it, it, to think of something positive right, to say. Not easy. Yeah, well, many folks are. I got a funny story. Everyone's calling back in the weather office, right? right? And they're already upset because it's so chilly. So they call, what's going on with this weather? And I say, uh, it, well, it's cold. You know, that, makes more, that makes them more upset. Yeah, <laughs> you know? it sure would. And, say, and they're yelling at me, well, fix it. <laughs> See? But and you're I going say, to. Well, yeah, which I'll, I'll definitely try. I think I have to go back to college a couple more years to do that. But <laughs> we'll see if we can do that for this week. Record low this morning, 32 degrees over at Detroit Metro. Old record, 34, set back in 1985. But here's what's going to happen as we go through the week. The jet stream, the dividing line between the cold air and warm air, is going to go to our north. So it will get warmer. I'll have Good. more details on when in a few months. All right. Thanks, Andrew. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> Our Paula Tutman catches up with the Cosby Kids. It's coming up, what they've been Broadway doing, and why was taking Lee time off, and now I'm continuing acting. Go ahead. And a local community prepares for the worst with a fiery mock disaster drill. But first, a wild scene at a local cemetery. Find out why this car wound up lying on its roof in the middle of a family plot. It's coming up next. Closed captioning for today's local four newscast is brought to you by Wallside Windows. Most preferred, most referred. Call today for your window replacement needs. Hey, baby. It's your appetite. We need Arby's new market fresh turkey ranch and bacon. Oh, yeah. Bread this soft. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. Something sizzling. And those toppings, oh, my. Oh, I want it. <laughs> My husband's the same way about power tools. I want it! <laughs> Arby's new Market Fresh Turkey Ranch and Bacon. Give in to your grown-up taste. Hi, Mrs. Stevens. Do you guys need a babysitter tonight? Oh, no, Susie. We're staying home. Hi, do you need a babysitter? No, thanks, Susie. We're staying in tonight. <laughs> Any luck? No. Me neither. I just don't get it. Me neither. Comcast Digital Cable. Hundreds of channels, thousands of reasons to stay home, including the free month of HBO. I need a new career. Me too. Now this could change everything. Comcast. You're just begging for heartburn, aren't you? What are you doing? Forget about these. Here, Norman turned me on to Pepsi Complete. And? And I tried one. One. That's all it took. One? Mm -hmm. Complete works fast like those, but lasts like those. Just one controls acid all day. Lasts all day. Nothing else like it. Where are you going? Sausages, anyone? Pets had complete. Oh, Just one, and heartburn's done. We invented the first minivan. Today, they're the best-selling, most award-winning minivans in the world. And now they're easier to get into. During the National Minivan Sales Event at your Chrysler and Jeep Superstore. Now we'll match your down payment up to $1,000 when you lease town and country. For $2,000 toward a 262 a month lease for qualified returning Daimler Chrysler employee lessees and eligible family members. But only during the National Minivan Sales Event. Win now and win later with the
the Michigan Lottery's new Daily 3 and 4 Extra. Playing's a snap. 1. Play your daily numbers. 2. Ask to play extra. 3. Match your numbers with the extra numbers and you've won. And you're still in the regular drawing. Ask to play extra, just a dollar more. You can win right now on the Daily 3 and 4. Play extra today. Local first, a rollover accident in a historic cemetery. Police say a man was driving through Elmwood Cemetery on Detroit's east side today when he lost control of his vehicle. The car rolled over near a tree, knocking over several gravestones. The driver suffered only minor injuries. He'll be charged with reckless driving. Practice makes perfect today at a mock rescue drill for some local police and firefighters. The city of Rochester held a disaster training drill to simulate a building collapse. Rescue workers battled real flames and demonstrated life-saving techniques. The drill is designed to be as realistic as possible and can complete with patience to rescue and hospital transportation. Was the force with the new Star Wars movie your weekend box office is just ahead? And you know, despite the cold, Metro Detroit is in full bloom. A colorful look at Eastern Market's annual flower day. Local force Paula Tubman goes behind the scenes with the Cosby Kids. The story is next. important as zero to 60? You decide at your Volvo retailer. I got a new job in a new city. I wanted to bank when and where it was convenient for me. Garrett National City took care of it. I've got ATMs everywhere. Free checking, a Visa check card, and online banking. Gary understood me. But that's no surprise. Because the people at National City don't see me like this. They see me for who I really am. I'm Brian Spencer, and my bank is National City. Let's play, dude. It was your best shot. Come on, everyone. What about this? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Better get Mako. See Mako for Ambassador Paint, $229, and get a free estimate on body repair. The new furniture styles from the annual High Point Furniture Market have arrived at Art Van. And now through Monday, for one super weekend, they're yours. With introductory savings of 25, 50, even 70% off. It's Art Van's Super Weekend Sale. Save on the most current fashions for your home. And choose from two great finance offers. Get 0% interest for two full years with no down payment. Or do not pay for one full year, and Art Van pays your sales tax. For super savings on the latest furniture styles, get to Art Van's Super Weekend Sale today. The 2002 Mercury Sable LS Premium comes with a wide range of unstandard standard equipment, like leather trim seats, because you don't just drive with your hands and feet. Power adjustable pedals, because anything less wouldn't be fitting. Anti-lock brakes, because the road sometimes turns into a playground. And now returning A, Z, and D plan employee lessees can lease a Sable LS Premium for just $2.69 a month with $12.19 cash due at signing. See your Metro Detroit Mercury dealer now. Sit down. So, you got a bum cell plan, huh? Look, when I'm out of the office, I need long distance, email, internet, voice dialing. Instead, I get static. I never said... Did I talk to you? Did I ask you? Who's this? Your Honor, he needs the Sprint PCS Total Digital Connections Plan. Clear calls and all our business tools in one plan. That's your story? Nothing but the truth. Thank you. Sprint PCS Total Digital Connections Plan. Use your minutes any way you want. Tonight, America got a new look at the family millions grew up with, the Huxtables. Well, what are they up to, and why was Lisa Bonet a no-show? Local force Paula Tupman shows us what it was like growing up Cosby. Mom, Dad, we can't sleep because Rudy thinks she heard the Wolfman growling in our closet. Something strange happens when you grow up Cosby. People forget you've grown up at all. This is Tempest Bledsoe, or Vanessa Huxtable, and Keisha Knight Pulliam, or Rudy, Ben. Look at them now. Hey, hey, we were about to come down. Hi, I'm sorry. How are you? That's a fair interview. Keisha. Keisha Knight. Wow, I didn't recognize you. Here's a question. When did these kids grow up to be adults? I have to grow up sometime. 
What I found out recently in New York during the 75th anniversary celebration for NBC, the behind-the-scenes scoop is the two girls are good friends. And Keisha taking a break from being in the public eye. Last year you couldn't do any of that. Because I was nothing. I graduated from college, taking time off, and now I'm continuing acting. Of course, this little angel is forever etched in our minds. I'm broke. <laughs> what happened to all your money? I don't know. I bought some bubble gum. Raven Simone, who played Olivia, is now a junior in high school. You've grown up to be so beautiful Thank and you. so intelligent Thank and so articulate. Thank Was it hard to do that in the glare of the spotlight, though? No, because, I mean, my parents... They brought me up, and, you know, they're, they're there for me all the time. And I've been to public school just un up until, like, last um, last grade, since I'm a junior now. And, you know, it's just, I'm just born into it, and it's used to, I'm used to it. For most, the Cosby family being reunited was a point of excitement and pride. I look at him as, as you know, the, the, the Michael Jordan of NBC. I mean, he really uh, came in and pulled the numbers in for NBC at a time when NBC really needed him. The Lisa Bonet, who played the role of Denise, was a no-show, calling the reunion disingenuous and motivated by corporate profit. Well, indeed, the show was profitable then and now, but it was also a groundbreaker, a history maker, and she was the only no-taker for this momentous occasion. Okay, well, there you have it. The story of a family getting through the day. Not just any family, but an extraordinary make-believe family that every week we kind of wished was our own. Paula Tutman, Local First. You look way too grown up. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, despite chilly temperatures, Metro Detroiters took time today to smell the flowers. Eastern Market in downtown Detroit held its 36th annual Flower Day. Always a great event. The Metropolitan Detroit Flower Growers Association sponsors the event. It boasts 70 greenhouses, 100,000 plots of flowers. Visitors are invited to add their own color to the event by creating wacky and very colorful wagons for their own creation. Hmm. Those are some of the uh, complaints you might start getting, Andrew. I saw a lot of dead <laughs> right. flowers in yep. my neighborhood oh, this yeah. morning. Oh, yeah. Cover them up. Yeah, yeah, exactly right. Either cover them up or bring them back in. <laughs> Definitely. Yes. And, and tonight is one of those nights once again. We still have a frost and uh, freeze warning advisory, that is, in effect once again, just like last night. Temperatures are now going into the 40s here, but some temperatures are already reaching the upper 30s, like 38, 39 degrees. And we right here in Detroit will see temperatures fall into the middle 30s by later on this evening and as we go into tomorrow morning. Another great looking night at least though. We have some clouds overhead, some drizzle here and there in different spots around southeast Michigan. Current temperatures are in the 40s. Normal is on this day. Well, the normal high is uh, in the 70s, 71. The actual high for today was 53 degrees. You see the low for today highlighted at 32. It's highlighted because it broke a record that was first set, in, well last set that is, back in 1985. Luckily, we had no rain today. Here are those normals once again. Normal high, 71 degrees. Normal low temperature, 50 degrees. And records on this date, 91 set back in uh, 1934 for the high. And again, we broke that record low, set back in 1985, which used to be 34 degrees. Sunrise tomorrow morning will be at 6.08, and should be a pretty nice one. We have a few clouds out there. Ceiling is a bit low at 4,000 feet. Current temperature right now, 45 degrees. Visibility still pretty good at 10 miles. It should pretty much remain that way through the rest of the night and for tomorrow morning. Humidity at 53%. Barometer right now is rising at 30.2.